16代目のクラウン日本の歴史に重ね合わせればそれは明治維新ですご覧ください新しい時代の幕開けです Toyota is executing significant developments in the EV domain in light of the new solid state batteries. We have witnessed the emergence of the Toyota Mirai, the latest hydrogen power vehicle from Toyota. Now they're going beyond just hydrogen powered engines. What could be that? While designing a new engine, two things have been taken care of it should meet the needs of the consumer and it should not cause damage to the environment. Hydrogen vehicles were a success in this, but many were scared of using these zero emission vehicles. What if hydrogen blasts? Ammonia is currently toted as a clean fuel for ships, airplanes, and trains, but China's GAC reckons it has potential in passenger automobiles as well. It created a combustion engine to verify the notion that it can reduce pollutants by up to 90%. Mr. Chi Hong Chong, an engineer at GAC, Guangzhou, said, We've overcome the pain point of ammonia being difficult to burn quickly and put the fuel to use in the passenger car industry. In several ways, ammonia NH3 transports hydrogen better than hydrogen. It's easy to deal with because it's liquid at room temperature and hence doesn't require energy intensive compression or cryogenic liquefaction equipment. Some of you might be hearing about this ammonia engines for the first time. Ammonia engines are simply internal combustion engines that run on ammonia and fuel. Ammonia NH3 is a chemical molecule compound of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. Because it has no carbon atoms, it does not emit CO2 when burned, unlike oil or gas. Ammonia engines can be powered in a variety of ways. One method is to split ammonia into hydrogen and nitrogen, then use the hydrogen to generate power in a fuel cell. This means ammonia acts as a provider of hydrogen for hydrogen fuel cells. That's what Amogee accomplished with the John Deere tractor, claiming it to be the world's first ammonia powered zero emissions tractor. Another option is to combine ammonia with another fuel, such as diesel, petrol, or hydrogen, and then burn the mixture. This makes it less difficult to start and maintain a fire. Man Energy Solutions has achieved this with a two stroke green ammonia engine for maritime purposes. A further possibility is to employ ammonia as a single fuel, which necessitates the use of sophisticated techniques such as spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. Because ammonia has high energy density, a low price, a relatively simple way to transport, and a quick refueling period, this engine type is regarded as better than others. Ammonia is also readily accessible and can be created from a variety of sources, including the plentiful components of hydrogen and nitrogen in the atmosphere. Toyota sees this possibility. As a result, it is teamed with GAC, a Chinese state owned firm. They've also revealed a prototype engine that runs on liquid ammonia. Guangzhou Automotive Group Company stated during a recent Tech Day presentation that it had created a 2.0 liter engine that is capable of securely and effectively burning liquid ammonia. GAC boasts a peak power output of 120 kilowatts, 161 horsepower, and a 90% decrease in carbon emissions when compared to traditional fuels. Toyota declared that their solid state battery will assist in cutting the cost and size of electric vehicle batteries in half. The weight, as well as the price of batteries, have been significant obstacles for electrical vehicles. Typical lithium ion batteries can be bulky and expensive, reducing the general operation, range, and cost of electric vehicles. The battery pack's weight has an impact on the vehicle's efficiency and maneuverability. Heavier batteries demand more energy to propel the vehicle, resulting in a shorter range of lower overall efficiency. Furthermore, the extra weight might damage the vehicle's equilibrium and stability, thus impacting the overall driving experience. Battery production necessitates complicated manufacturing techniques and costly ingredients such as lithium and cobalt. All of these variables contribute to the high initial cost of electric vehicles as compared to conventional automobiles. These reasons all lead to electric vehicles having a higher initial cost than their internal combustion engine rivals. Toyota's solid state battery technology will change the game for Toyota and the entire globe by making it a lot simpler to retire gas powered vehicles. But GAC and Toyota will undoubtedly face numerous obstacles if they decide to introduce ammonia engines into the car market. One significant barrier is the lack of effective systems for fueling ammonia powered cars. Ammonia, unlike traditional fuels, is not readily available at the moment, necessitating the creation of a safe and reliable fueling system. This situation, however, may present a window for the industry to innovate and build a secure and reliable infrastructure capable of handling the special requirements of ammonia fuel. GAC and Toyota's relationship demonstrates the value of collaboration in generating innovations in the automobile sector. 
These two industry leaders overcome technical challenges and delivered an appealing proposal for cleaner mobility by uniting their experience and resources. This collaboration establishes a model for future collaborations in the field, emphasizing the value of shared expertise and assets and accelerating progress towards sustainable mobility. In conclusion, GAC's prototype engine that runs on liquid ammonia represents a big step forward in the hunt for alternative fuels. Ammonia-powered vehicles have been predicted to revolutionize the automotive industry due to their ability to dramatically cut carbon emissions and their growing popularity in passenger vehicles. While obstacles persist, such as demand for infrastructure development, the progress made has been significant as far as concern. Hope you enjoyed this video, then tap that thumbs up. Comment down your thoughts on these all-new ammonia engines. Will you be ready to switch to ammonia engines in the future? Why or why not? But it's really good to see the automobile industry is evolving every second. See ya!